thought we were going to get some kind of explanation as to what would cause a grown man to reportedly attack and then beat a couple of 13-year-olds. We had our camera here. We were inside the jail. We were ready to go. Then all of a sudden, at the last minute, the suspect canceled the interview. It's a childish game kids have been playing for years. They ring someone's doorbell, then run away. But the inconsiderate humor of Ding Dong Ditch got downright violent this past Saturday night when authorities say the guy living in this Queen Creek home chased after the 13-year-old pranksters and badly beat them. Your charge is one count of aggravated assault. This is 22-year-old Jonathan LaRock during his first court hearing. He seems like a psycho and probably on drugs, probably who knows what he's doing, but... Yeah, total psycho. We spoke to the father of one of the young victims who asked us not to release their names. He said his boy was knocked to the ground, hit in the head and face numerous times, then dragged down the street unconscious. The dad can't understand why LaRock's bond was only set at $4,700. The concerned father is worried the suspect will get out of jail and hurt someone else. The bond was set very low for what he's done, which now we have to go back, try to add additional um, charges into the report so that they up the bond, make sure that this guy doesn't get out. LaRock does have an extensive criminal history and was currently on probation for an assortment of drug charges. During his court appearance, the judge told him not to have any contact with the victims. Yeah, I, will. I want nothing to do with them. I am told the bond set in this case is in line with court guidelines, but it could go up if additional charges are filed. Reporting live in Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.